Hi everyone, Keith Arsno here for HartfordHawks.com with head coach of the Hartford Lacrosse team, Peter Lawrence. Coach, since we last spoke, you've gone on the road and won a pair of games on the road at Siena and then on the road at Quinnipiac. What has that, those two wins, close wins, done for the confidence of your team? I think it's always good when you can win close games. Um, I think our guys are feeling pretty good about themselves. Um, and it's just momentum, you know. Um, I think the first couple games when, uh, you know, we didn't come up with a W, uh, you start to question some things and, and maybe doubt and you don't have as much confidence. And then when you can start putting some, uh, you know, victories back to back, I think our guys feel pretty good about themselves. You've got a couple of newcomers who have really stepped up and taken on some of that offensive role in Jack Bobsey and Austin Gorman. Austin Gorman named the NEILA Player of the Week this week. What have those two in particular done for your team offensively? Well, I think there's a big void, you know. I mean, we're, uh, we're a really young team this year offensively. You know, we had some great players uh, graduate, and um, I think it takes time, you know, for roles to fill, and, um, you know, Jack... Uh, you know, all fall played as a midfielder and through the first game, you know, against Maryland, he played as a midfielder. And now we've been using him a lot as an attackman and uh, that's been a good adjustment. And then uh, conversely, Austin Gorman was playing uh, mostly attack in the beginning and we were just having a little bit of a hard time kind of getting him on the field and then we moved him to midfield. Um, and so those two adjustments, um, you know, the last few games uh, have worked out real well. Um, so I think more than anything, they just needed an opportunity and, again, uh, you know, just kind of solidify some roles um, because, again, we just we have some young guys on the offensive end, but they're starting to do some real good things. Taking a look towards tonight's game, you've got Sacred Heart coming in. Always a good matchup, an in-state rival. What does this game mean to you and your team? This is a, this is a big game for us, you know. Um, you know, anytime we, uh, we play Sacred Heart, it, it has definitely been historically a very competitive game. Um, you know, and uh, last year we went there, we, we lost by, uh, by a goal. Um, you know, I just think it's a game that, uh, you know, what it means for us, the program, is just a lot of pride, you know. Uh, just like going to Quinnipiac last week, whenever you play these in-state games or you play a Fairfield, you know. But um, I think Sacred Heart, you know, is, is even a little bit more because um, of just the history, you know. Um, since I've been here, we've played every year. It's, it's just always been a very competitive game. I think they get up for it, and I think our guys get up for it. So I think it should be, uh, you know, uh, a very good game tonight, very intense. All right. Now, some people may notice you've got a little bit of a different look going today. Yeah. You uh, you got rid of the beard since we last spoke. Uh, what's the thinking behind that? Yeah, no, the beard wasn't working when you start 0-3, you know, and so it's a, it's a project to shave the whole entire thing, you know, so uh, this was the best uh, solution, you know, so take a little off, but kept a little too, so um, it's working. All right. Well, we're used to seeing you in the mustache in the fall, but it seems to be working for you yeah. this spring. Best of luck tonight against Sacred Heart. The Hawks will take on the Pioneers at Al Marzouk Field tonight at 7 o'clock. But for now, for HartfordHawks.com, I'm Keith Arsenault with head coach Peter Lawrence.